Hello, everybody. I was told to wear my sunglasses during this because they said it makes me look like a mix between Taylor Swift and the guy who landed the plane in the Hudson. Okay, so <clears throat> five dash four, triangle mid segment theorem. Okay, triangle mid segment is exactly what it sounds like. You have a triangle, and then you have a segment that goes from the middle of one side to the middle of the other side. It means it cuts that in half, cuts that in half. Okay, now. It's going to be a real short lesson, but it's just focused and it's right here. Triangle mid-segment theorem means that it goes from the midpoint to the other midpoint. Okay? Now, if we run that triangle mid-segment over here, where it cuts that in half, and then run this one to this one, it goes midpoint to midpoint, midpoint to midpoint, that's called the mid-segment triangle because it's in the middle, it hits all the mid-segments, and it forms a triangle. Okay? Now, there's two important things you need to know about the mid-segment of a triangle, okay? First thing, this, the mid-segment is always parallel to the only side of the triangle that it doesn't touch. It touches these two, that means it's parallel to this. This one is parallel to this one, this one's parallel to this one, and what's the other one? Oh, this one's parallel to this one, okay? They're parallel, so the first thing is it's parallel. Second thing, it is exactly half the measure of the line it's parallel to. Okay? Like if this is 8, then this line is 16. Alright, if this is 18, this is 36. If this is 118, this is a 236. Okay? This is always half of that line. Okay? So that's the easy way. So if they give you this, you double it to find this. If they give you uh, this, you cut it in half to find this. Okay? That's pretty much it. Um, the perimeter of this triangle in here, the mid-segment triangle, is going to be half the perimeter of the whole thing. And that's the end of that story. Gosh, that was fun. And we're done. You see that run? <laughs>